How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week three, and oh, well, we're 500 on the season so far, but we have to go on the road to play number four Texas this week. And uh, I don't know how great that's going to go for us. So let's do something that maybe could go great. We've found a lot of great recruits. Will we be able to pick them up? Let's go and see anybody who has zero points This that is this high on our board uh, is new to the board. And that doesn't seem too great. Losing 600 on Albert Sullivan. We can only give him 550. We have more bonus points than Oklahoma, but because they can give him that... Uh, that 700 or however much they're giving him. Uh, we just probably won't be able to keep up. I am going to give him the 550. Maybe there's a chance that we could use an unlock on him and take him to the end of the season. We've got guys like Greg Jones, this wide receiver. Again, 89 speed, 93 acceleration. So, you know, decent uh, with his speed, but a pretty good catcher. 93 route running is fantastic. Uh, and we're only losing 420 a week there. So, uh... You know, we can blaze on up the board with him. Maurice Robbins. Ooh, you hate to see that. Corner that we were hoping to hold on to is just dropping too much. So the guy's going to have to come off the board. Uh, I think that's going to be the case for a lot of these guys. Hopefully the offensive linemen are solid, though. Tackle Rashad Howard. Looks like we have a chance to gain at UCF in the lead. It's good news for us. Still in the lead and gaining with Robert Gray, the center. Michael May, we can get up in there, but again, we need more points, so it's just going to be a, a game of balancing, and, uh, you know, like always, I'm going to go through all this uh, kind of even stuff out and then maybe add some players to the board, but I'll jump back in when that's all done. All right, so we found a few more guys. Uh, I'm not expecting these players to be fantastic, but we've added them to the board, and now we can scout them. James Wilson, we've got a defensive end in here. He'll drop down. Unfortunately, we do have a pocket passing quarterback. Uh, there is a gem. He seemed to like us. Uh, he's a great passer. 90 throw power, 84 throw accuracy, but he's slow as heck. Uh, Jared Robinson's a 72 overall defensive end. We added one tight end in Leroy Anderson, who goes down to 66. I think he's a blocking uh, tight end, so his... Uh, speed or his, his receiving stats don't necessarily matter, but he's got pretty solid blocking. Uh, a guard in Demarcus Marcus. <laughs> I didn't notice the name until just now. Um, we might have to recruit him just because of that. Uh, Jamal Kennedy is a strong safety who goes down to 62, and we've got Lynn Hicks, another strong safety who stays at 63. So not the best players found, uh, but they're okay. And I guess with our remaining points, we're just going to go through and uh, try to give them to some players that we are hoping to catch up on. Now, I didn't remove every single player that we would struggle with. Like uh, if somebody's a 560 that we're losing a week, I didn't take them off the board just yet. Uh, but it's going to be pretty rough going, I think, for a few guys. Brian, Paul, we could technically gain on but only getting five a week is it going to be worth it uh we're gonna have to just wait and find out see how the cards fall all right so our recruiting done we'll just take a quick look at the top 25 see if there's any ranked games i know we looked at this before in the last episode but uh, number seven florida will play number 13 old miss and then i think we had yeah arizona state and stanford at 15 and 16 not a whole lot of ranked matchups to deal with uh, this time around. So we'll just get into it. Uh, of course, we are not going to be the favorite team. Texas is very good. Uh, in fact, there are 97 overall good with a 99 offense, a 95 defense, and they're at home. This is not going to be easy. Uh, like we usually do when I feel like we're going into a game where we're going to get obliterated, we're going to wear the all whites just in case we need to surrender. It'll make it a little bit easier for us. And Texas is updated, but I don't really think that we'll give them uh, much difference. Maybe we could let them wear like the throwback, but I think that we'll just keep them in their traditional homes. So let's load in here and hope for the best. They are 1-0. And they beat Rice, I think, 40-10 to in their first game. They've got a pretty mediocre offense and defense after the first one. Nothing incredible. Uh, the top players, though. Oh, no. Johnson, this running back, is going to slaughter us. Uh, maybe we can do something. Left guard at 94, middle linebacker at 94. So all three of their top players are uh, ways better than uh, our top players. And I'm sure that 
Just, I, I mean, they're a 97 overall team. What do we expect? Oh, here we are. DK Royal Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin. UT looking to win. Their fans are going to be raucous on this game. Tails never fails, so we will uh, be able to kick this ball off. I hope that's the right decision. No win today as Frederick will be set to kick this one off. Probably the biggest game of his career so far. A decent kick to start it. Now the question is, can we get a good stop? Mackey! Oh! Well, the freshman doing a good job at gunning down the field there, but couldn't quite get the tackle. Thankfully, he was able to slow stuff up. Uh, trips left for this offense as they're going to hand it off. And, oh, the blocking is what we expected. Phenomenal broken tackle. Finch needs to save that surprisingly fast as uh, Finch there. Nice shove from Durham. But, goodness, that is a little bit scary. First and ten. And... Well, they... To do something there so we get them into this second and seven position after the, the three yard gain they are going to go with the screen oh that's going to work really well Diggs can't get off his block mason shelton saving a touchdown with the diving tackle man we brought a big blitz too really thought that they were going to put that one on the ground uh and i'm going to assume that they will here on this first and goal the blitz was supposed to be there uh well, doesn't work out for us. Eight-yard touchdown run. Unsurprisingly, the Longhorns take a, a quick lead in this one. So, offense needs to be pretty good on this drive, I think. Reese gets a returnable ball. If the blocking's good, that would be nice. The blocking, not too bad there. So, we're going to have great field position to start this drive. Out at the 45-yard line. We're going to hand this one off to Reese on first down. Really hoping... The line can do something, but if we can't stop those linebackers from plugging up the gaps, that's going to be tough. This is one of those games that I think uh, making plays is going to be important. Making, you know, tough throws, um, utilizing Grayson's running ability. I mean, we do find Tyson open for 13 yards and we do get a first down. But this will feel like the kind of game where traditional running plays aren't going to be too easy, so... We'll try some read options. Grayson getting positive yards on that one. Uh, and maybe eventually we can open it up and just go with designed handoffs. But until that happens, we're going to rely a lot on the wide receivers to get open. Uh, also just scrambling. <laughs> Trying to pick up yards on every single play. We've harnessed the ways of the fullback dive earlier in this season we're gonna see if that continues jj barton get there he did get closer it's fourth and inches but not enough for the first down and now we will have to go for this we are gonna go qb sneak they don't load the box up so hopefully grayson can get there he barely did oh i didn't think he had it grayson took a shot he definitely paid for that one but he was able to do enough to pick up the first down and now we'll go to the air here risky throw we find Fountain only getting a yard, but at least it's complete. Definitely wasn't the receiver that we should have gone to, but that's fine. We'll try another read option. Second and nine. McCall is going to get... Well, I thought he was going to get annihilated in the backfield. There was like four guys having a dance party around us. But it wasn't enough for them to bring us down. So we get to this third and seven. We're going to be looking to get outside the pocket. And there is a wide open Dion Fountain inside the 15. We certainly aren't moving the ball as efficiently as Texas did their first time out, but we are moving the ball. Reese White getting chased down, broke a tackle, got the first and goal on the counter. That was fantastic running. Let's go ahead and reward him here with a difficult play. I don't like his odds. We're going to try it anyways. A run up the middle. Let's bring McDonald, the tight end, in. Get a little bit of blocking straight up the middle, even if just to jam things up. Eh, Reese got a yard out of that. Second and goal. We won't quite show our cards on this one. It is going to be a run. They're bringing pressure, so hopefully this works. The halfback little misdirection, and Reese gets in untouched. And then a big late hit in the end zone. We'll forgive Texas. They're frustrated. They're worried they're going to lose. So Frederick now can kick this one away. Ah, oh, great job from the offense. Uh, only one little minor hiccup getting to that fourth down, but we were able to convert. 
If the defense can slow these guys down, you know, we might have a chance. The biggest problem I see, though, is that the defense is going to have one hell of a time trying to slow these guys down. Very, very good Texas team. They go over the middle. Shelton forces the fumble. Oh, they picked it up, though. That was a great hit from Mason Shelton, our middle linebacker, to force it. But unfortunately, we can't come away with the ball. So I'm not sure if you guys uh, remember my keys to the game from last episode, but... One of the big ones was creating a turnover, even just a single one, creating a turnover, holding on the ball for ourselves. That would have given us a chance as, wow, that was a great catch through the contact. We've shown some sparks. Maybe we have a chance. Uh, we just need to make sure that we complete stuff for receivers to the right. It is a screen. Mackey with the good diving tackle to prevent that from becoming a big play. These guys will... Continue to throw. Maybe another man in motion. No, this is going to be... Yeah, it is a pass. Over the middle, they've got a guy. I did bring our linebacker out of that trying to stop a run, and <laughs> I gave up 20 yards. Texas doing a lot more running than I expected, or a lot more passing early on than I expected as the quarterback keeps it on an option and takes it to the house. Hudson card is lighting us up right now. Oh, that's tough. 14-7 now. Oh, offense needs to get something done on this drive. We have to continue to match them in scoring. Can't afford to fall behind if we're trying to win this game. And great field position, thanks to our special teams, is going to be big. Again, that time out pass, I think, to the 35. So we will continue to try to move the ball here. Going to be using Grayson and everything that he has to offer us. Circle was open. I didn't actually mean to spin there. It might have worked out. We got eight yards, says. <laughs> I did not mean to pass the line of scrimmage, but I guess we end up scrambling. All I know is that uh, if we win this game, Grayson's going to earn himself a nice big steak dinner because he's going to be running the ball a ton today. End of the first quarter. We're down a touchdown, but we have the ball. We get the ball to start the second half. Things don't look too bad yet, but our defense needs to pick it up. We'll come out looking to run the counter. I think that this is actually going to be a decent shot. Reese able to get enough for the first down, and that's all that mattered on that play. From around midfield, I'll be looking for the tight ends on this play. Maybe not. Square is open. We find Dion Fountain. Can he make some moves? Not really, but he's still got 14 yards. Good job staying in bounds on that play. That one was kind of scary. Grayson is four of four. I think their quarterback is perfect through the air as well so far. So kind of uh, interesting start to the game. Both teams passing a ton. And <laughs> Reese just keeping the legs moving. Find seven yards. On this second and three. What can we do with the read option? Grayson keeping this one. The blocking not holding up. Grayson just trucked a defensive end to get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not enough for the first down, so we will be going for this on third and three. And X is open over the middle. Malden can hold on to it. Oh, just found him somehow. Got 20 yards there. Really tempted to throw this bubble screen. It's going to work. The blocking. Oh, the blocking didn't hold up, but the screen would have been there if it did. At least we got a yard out of the play. And you know what? We're going to go back-to-back -back screens. Maybe back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. We'll see. Halfback slip screen. I know it hasn't worked well for us recently. We're still going to hope for the best. Trying to sucker these guys in. Reese picked up a block. Falling forward. That worked well. I think we could have got more, but I will take seven yards. That brings up third and two. And we're at the five-yard line. We're giving this to JJ Barr. I honestly don't feel super confident, but I got to hope for the best. Uh, this is four-down territory as well. And JJ got the first and goal. That was a great, great run. We're going to go back to the ground. Going with another counter. We scored on one earlier. The counter strong. Reese can't fall into the end zone, but he's right at the goal line. This is right for a QB sneak. It is only second and goal, but I don't want to run a fullback dive and lose a yard. So Grayson's just going to go and get in well enough. Not a good enough push from the Longhorns line. We will tie this game up. So again, Frederick boots this one deep. Uh, let's hope that we can get a stop on this as well. Uh, I'm surprised that we haven't given up uh, a, a return touchdown, to be honest. But we're doing a decent job with our special teams today. So last time out, we allowed the quarterback to uh, keep it on an option. 
and take it to the house. This time, we're going to hope differently. The counter has great blocking, and I just, I, I literally don't think that we can stop their offense. Even when we've blitzed on their rushing plays, they still pick up good ones. That was a very risky screen. Joshua more lucky to get to that one. Gonna hope for the best as uh, we're looking corner blitz. Except the corner that was supposed to blitz got caught up on the screen. So that didn't work out. They get seven yards and a first down. Well, we're gonna continue to just try to bring pressure. I know they're gonna run eventually. We need to be there to slow them down when it happens. And man, this running back is strong. It really doesn't feel like there's a whole lot that we can do to slow these guys down. Play action's gonna burn me. They hand it off though. And we were ready. I knew I was bringing the pressure immediately. We do have them now in a third and five. So all this would take is one stop to get off the field. They run the counter. The blocking is great. The tackling, not so much. And it's a first down across the 30. This running back is averaging over 15 yards a carry at this point. Nearing the end of the first half. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. They're going to step back to throw. And I gave it up over the middle. Thankfully, they didn't throw it to the guy who would have had more yards. But, well, they still got 16 on the play. Oh, our defense is getting just slaughtered. The Longhorns quarterback, Hudson Card, now 10 of 10 for 100 yards on the day. As there's a decent stop, they take their second timeout. Trying to do some work. Second and seven. Expecting the pass. It's a handoff up the middle. Mackey pulls him down, but he got a first and goal there. Oh, that's devastating. Well, we're going to try to stop the run. I don't think the defense got set in time, but enough guys got into the backfield to slow him down. We're going to start taking our timeouts now, though. Outside of us uh, committing a penalty, they can't pick up another first down, so we might as well take our timeouts. Quarterback keeps it on the option. Eh, he just continues to burn us with that. 21-14 Texas. We have a minute and 30 to tie this one up before halftime. This isn't necessarily critical that we score on this possession, but it would certainly help us. I will let Reese return this. The blocking's been fairly solid. I see some great blocking, and Reese has a lot of room. He's going to be across midfield and pushed out of bounds at the Texas 45. That was a fantastic decision. So with a minute and 27 and two timeouts, we can come out and try to run our offense. Uh, ooh, the throw that I wanted to make wasn't open. But the scramble is wide open. Grayson can get the first down and get out of bounds. They got to they gotta defend him on those. They aren't uh, respecting his running abilities, so we're going to make him pay. First and 10. We'll look to the air. That should be a quick throw. Malden holds on to it. Now we'll need to go in the hurry up. I'm not sure how easily we could do it, but a uh, field goal wouldn't be the end of the world. We could have a man open. There is a man open. Bedgood gets the catch in, gets out of bounds for the first and goal. Great route running from Aaron Bedgood on that play. So now we've got plenty of time to work with. Four downs to get into the end zone. Two timeouts, a minute and one to work with. We'll try the read option. It's going to be a handoff and a touchdown way too easily. Kind of wanted to just stop because now I think that Texas might score again. Unfortunately, that drive only took 35 seconds on the clock, but... In this game, if we have an opportunity to score, we have to take it. We can't try to mess around uh, and, and risk losing those points. So let's just hope the defense can slow these guys down and maybe hold them to a field goal before halftime. Hoping for the best. They will step back to pass. Quarterback's going to scramble. And we get technically the sack there. Uh, the clock is moving. We've got a great opportunity here. Trips right for the Longhorns, but the clock is burning and taking a long time to get set. They actually might not be set properly. They might have to burn all this clock out. I can't tell. Uh, number 18 and number 72 on the left side of their line. If somebody doesn't look properly set there, maybe number 72. So uh, I don't know if this is intentional, but they're burning the clock down. We'll expect to see them snap it at two if they can, and they can. So they are able to get the playoff quarterback. Plenty of time in the pocket. He's flushed out, though, and he's sacked, and we're going to be able to go into the locker rooms all tied up. Oh, wow. What a great first half from us. Could we upset number four, Texas? We are playing fantastic so far. The defense obviously could use a little bit of work, but they got the job done there, and the offense has been phenomenal. Grayson McCall, I don't want to jinx him, so... 
We'll knock on wood a little bit, but I think he's 9 of 9 or 10 of 10. Perfect throwing through the air today. We have to keep that up if we want to stand a chance. But we get the opportunity now to open up the scoring on this second half. A chance to take the lead. We're going to a side of the uh, special teams line that hasn't really done anything so far in this game. Is Reese, man, he took a shot, but still, again, got us past the 30-yard line. We will hand this one off to him on another counter to start off this third quarter. And, ooh, yeah, that didn't work all, all that well. So we desperately will need to pick up some yards. They're bringing a safety blitz on second and 10, which means that we're going to have that pressure coming at us immediately. This is a terribly risky throw. Bedgood came down with it and almost got the first down. He was shadowed the whole time by his defender. So now Grayson still perfect. 10 of 10 for 106 yards. And on third down, we're going to let him just go with the uh, the QB sneak. He falls forward, actually, and got a solid four yards there. This might set us up for a great opportunity to audible and throw a vert here. <laughs> I don't know. The way that there's defense is lined up, somebody's going to be mismatched on the other side of the field. And there it is, Malden. Over the middle, we just toss it over the linebacker, and we get a very, very easy 20 yards. Try the rollout play action on this first down, hoping to find somebody open over the middle. There's Tyson Mobley. He holds on to it through the contact, and we get another first down now inside the red zone. A halfback dive. I kind of want to flip the play, but I don't want to mess with the, uh, the setup that they've got all that much, so we'll just motion Malden over. Hand it off to Reese and allow him to fumble the ball. Oh my gosh, Aaron Bedgood picked it up. At first, I was just like crazed because somebody went flying like actually just got launched to the moon but then he dropped the ball we are so lucky to have picked that up what is this guy doing <laughs> i know that some of you guys must have caught that keep an eye here on number 52 look at how high up he goes he goes into orbit <laughs> he's he's six feet in the air <laughs> So we are lucky, so lucky to still have possession of the ball. We're going to continue to trust Reese, though. I think that it would be more damaging for us not to give him the ball. He breaks a tackle, and he gets us the first and goal. So showing us why we should continue to place that trust in him and putting us now in a position on the road against number four, Texas, to take the lead. Grayson going to step back to pass. The is caught. Oh, my gosh. Tyson Mobley, what a grab. I thought for sure that one was going to be dropped. It's now second and goal from the one. Reese gets in untouched. We take the 28 to 21 lead. If the defense gets one stop, this game is entirely in our control. Frederick putting this one again. Oh, Frederick puts this one deep again. Uh, this time we're in the lead, which is nice. That's a decent return for him, but we can take that. Defense, slow him down, please. We're going to bring a dangerous man blitz on this first down. Very big chance that we could get Burns, or we could hit him in the backfield for a three-yard loss. The freshman Mackey getting in there and doing some work. That is the exact kind of first down that we want, as on second and 13, this quarterback is looking to throw. Wide open out route. Oh my gosh, he had 10 yards around him, but at least we have him in a third and 13. Wait. I was reading third and 13 <laughs> as I was saying that. Apparently, they said he stepped out of bounds. I think this review is going to get overturned. Yeah, he had his foot down. I'm not sure what they say about that right foot, the one that's closer to the sideline, but I think this should be a catch. Yep. So what does that make it? Second and nine, third and nine. The defense has a dangerously good opportunity to get off the field here. We've seen a lot of screens in that three wide set they won't go with it quarterback throwing deep finds his man who holds on to it and gets so so many yards it was a great route and uh, uh not the easiest throw it's enough for a first down at the 30 as here's another screen Diggs can't get the stop i hit the wrong button with shelton and they go in for a 30 yard touchdown on the screen Hudson card, 13 of 13 through the air. Two quarterbacks with perfect passing. Secondary not having a great day. Tied up 28 each. 
Well, we got to keep our momentum going. Cannot uh, fall behind at all in this game. They kick it back to the left side. That's been working really well. The blocking, not good enough that time. We were getting a little bit lucky with how often it was working, but now we're starting at the 20. So the offense has been firing on all cylinders. Our backfield has been fantastic, and Reese, with a great dive up the middle, got a six-yard carry on first down. The fantastic part about how successful our uh, running game has been is that these play actions do something. I had to just get that one away. I just panic pressed a button and it was completed. Oh my gosh. Still perfect through the air somehow. That one was incredibly lucky. I actually want to pass this ball, I think, but we're going to hand it off. And Reese actually got great blocking and he got seven yards. The offensive line doing a fantastic job today. Well, you know how I like to go. Keep it on the ground if it's working. We're going to try the read option. Again, though, this uh, defense they're showing makes me really want to throw. Instead, we'll give it to Grayson. Almost let him pick up the first down. And I think third and inches. We have a great opportunity to uh, pick this up through the air. It is technically a play action, so maybe spooking them a little bit. Running for our lives here, though. Nobody was open. Grayson getting some blocking and getting out of bounds. Again, we are going to rely on his legs the entire game. That's his 11th carry. He's got 55 yards and a touchdown on the ground. The biggest thing that we need to be worried about is just ball security, but if we're getting good blocking downfield like that, uh, we should be fine. Reese continuing just to keep those legs moving. Normally, he's going down at that contact, but he gets five again. And with that play, I think at this point, it's in our interest to let this clock burn down. So we will let it get to the end of the third quarter. Fours up in the air because we are tied up against the number four team in the country heading into the fourth quarter. We have the ball and a chance to take the lead. Could we win this one? Let's hope so. A read option to open up the quarter. This one's being handed off to Reese. It's going to be enough for the first down and a little bit more 10 yards on that carry. Oh, I'm tempted to burn the clock, but we'll just continue to let the clock run uh, as it normally would. And hopefully we've really suckered these guys in. I mean, I don't think they're going to be too surprised if we pass five wide, but we will be looking to go to the air. Getting outside the pocket. Triangle's open. Tyson Mobley caught it. I thought for a second he was into the end zone, but the shoestring tackle saved it. And we will just try to continue to run it here. Just going with those occasional throws. Both uh, Grayson and Reese completely on fire. And White up the middle again gets us a couple yards. Offensive line's having a great game. I feel like there's no reason to really to abandon the running game either. So trips left. We're going to run the counter on this one. And the blocking it looks good. I didn't mean to run into the lineman, but Reese falling forward gets eight in the first and goal. We are on the doorstep. I don't know if I feel like we can get the push here but he deserves the opportunity we're gonna go with the dive on this first down the offensive line just slaughtered school record now tied for rushing touchdowns in a game for reese white he's got four on the day and we take a 35 to 28 lead frederick will boot this one away and i think at this point the way things are looking five minutes on the clock uh I we're almost guaranteed overtime. Oh, this is not great though. Uh, we we're just trying to slow them down. Give up a 45-yard kick return to midfield. But if we expect that they score a touchdown, so long as we can burn clock uh, on our drive, we might be able to, to take this one into overtime. The screens have been working so well. Well, they're not going to burn any clock on their drive because this is going to be almost in immediately 33 yards. Their screens are obliterating us. We're even trying to run the man, and, and a lot of those plays there, like, our, our corners are right in there, in the mix, but we just can't get it done. Here's a rush up the middle, and man, if it was that easy for us, we would never lose a game. So much for burning clock off on this one. It's been not a whole lot of time. Diggs, that's a great, great stop. Oh, maybe we hold him to a field goal. Who knows? Johnson has been destroying us. Let's hope that that doesn't continue on second and goal. Bring in a little bit of a blitz. Man in motion. This is going to be an option, maybe? I don't know. The quarterback didn't get rid of it. Hudson Card loses two yards. It's third and goal now. This is one of those plays where we can almost guarantee that they're going to go to the air. I'm going to use her Sidney McRae on this play just to try to get pressure on the quarterback. All the time in the world. He threw it short of the line to gain, and the tackle in the open field is good. It's fourth and goal. 
Did the defense just hold or will they go for this? They're going to go for it. Fourth and goal from the six. What can we do to stop them? I expect maybe a, a pass. Be surprised if they ran it trying to get pressure with the running back over the middle. They find... Oh, said running back. 16 to 16 for Hudson Card, and we do give up the touchdown. So, 35 all. The biggest thing there, only three and a half minutes. We did end up up forcing them to burn some uh, time off the clock. Not as much as we may have wanted, but a decent amount nonetheless. And now Reese, once again, gives us decent field position there at the 35. So... We don't need to score a touchdown on this drive. We just need to score last. Reese, oh my gosh, he's still on his feet. He got 14 yards on that play. Incredible. Kind of surprisingly, that puts him just over 100 yards on the day for how well he's been doing. Not a crazy amount of yards, but now do we just let the clock start to burn? I think I'm going to let this get just under three minutes before we run the counter to uh, the man of the match so far. He only gets a yard that time, and again, maybe we just let the clock continue to burn. Obviously, we don't want to run out of time on this drive, but we certainly don't want to give them too many opportunities. Kind of looking at bed good. Second and nine. Can we throw the timing route? Aaron gets the first down. And he full What is that fumble? He just fumbled, but he got tackled by, like, an invisible player. What was that? No! What on earth just happened? He gets hit. The man falls away from him like he broke the tackle. But the game hasn't realized that and it's still playing a tackle animation. And the ball gets stripped from him. Oh, that's devastating. That is so, so devastating as we're driving down the field to potentially win the game. That's what happens to us. So there's only two and a half minutes left to play now. Uh, if we lose this, I'm not even sure if I can be angry, just sad. However, they gave us the opportunity, the pick with Mason Shelton. He got in there on the slip screen and we got the ball right back. Oh my goodness. It is the first incompletion of the game for either quarterback and it could not have come at a more perfect time for us. Oh, wow. The blocking. Fantastic for Reese. We're getting very close to field goal range. I think we're going to burn the clock down here. We're going to go conservative on the big run and the catching and the tempo here. We don't want to fumble the ball. We want to hold on to our catches and we just need to uh, move the football here. Oh, just a dive on second and one as the clock ticks below a minute and 45 to play. Reese didn't get the first down but that keeps the clock moving most importantly and on this third and inches i would be doing him a disservice if we didn't let reese get the carry a minute to play in the game the blocking's there he's got the first down oh i just don't know if we could kick a field goal from this close i would really hope that's the case but I'm not certain uh, we're still going to continue to just hand the ball off to him. Try to get ourselves a little bit closer while staying in the middle of the field. But if there's nothing doing, there's nothing doing. And we're going to get iced on this. So I think that we might just center up the ball on this play. The halfback cutback actually got us a couple more yards. It's third and seven. And we're going to take our first time out here. I want to make sure that uh, Reese got a little bit of a breather there. We're going to again try to center this ball up with the dive probably shouldn't have taken the timeout but it's fine and we're gonna let this clock burn down texas not taking a timeout for some reason they don't want the opportunity we'll just recall the same play but we will take a timeout with three seconds to go i cannot believe the sequence of events that has led us to this situation there's our second timeout tie ball game with three seconds to play there's their timeout they will f uh try to ice us and it's going to work. Frederick has not necessarily had a whole lot of opportunities. Can we kick this field goal? Or will we be going to overtime? It looks good, and it is! Coastal will upset number four Texas in Austin. We win it 38 to 35 behind one of the wildest sequences of events that I've ever seen. And what a way to end it. We move to two and one on the season. Grayson McCall? 
was perfect on the day. We saw one single incompletion, and it was on the interception there at the end of the game. Grayson, I think, I mean, he's not player of the game. Reese White deserves it, but Grayson went like 16 of 16 through the air. That is phenomenal. So somehow we play the perfect game against Texas. We didn't really get a single stop. I guess we got the one interception, but oh my goodness. I've just got to point this out. The 196 quarterback rating from Grayson McCall. 16 of 16, 183 yards. Perfect through the air. Average of 11. Only a long of 20, so we weren't throwing long bombs. But what a freaking game from the kid from Mint Hill, North Carolina. And if we look at the other side, a 233.3 rating from Hudson Card as he goes 16 of 17. He did better because he had some longer uh, throws and a couple of touchdowns, but one interception. What a game. An absolute quarterback battle for the ages. Florida beats Ole Miss in a actually a pretty close one. Um, no crazy upsets or anything. Game stats, though. Oh, man. They outpassed us, surprisingly. Uh, we outrushed them, even though they had a great running back. 21 first downs. One turnover for each side. I think our turnover was you know our fumble was kind of bull crap but it is a turnover we beat them on time of possession which might become a theme uh this season as we try to win these games but just how about our players of the game hudson card he's kicking himself for throwing that interception had a chance to drive down the field uh for a nice game winning drive instead threw the pick on the first play and we come away with the victory reese white had a great game especially late there uh that second half just just mowing guys over and running with ease. Mason Shelton is our defensive player of the game. Not only did he have that interception, he actually forced that fumble that we had uh, early on in the game on that really nice tackle. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't recover that, but what a what a what a game from uh, both of our players. So I don't know. Two and one, upsetting number four on the road. Is there a chance that we could be ranked after this? I certainly would like to think so. We'll advance towards week four, where next week we'll play uh, BYU. And uh, Mark Washington, a great recruit, is ready to visit. Will we be ranked? Uh, okay, who cares about that? NCAA Player of the Week, I do actually kind of care about that. Number 18, we skyrocket up into the polls. Uh, we're going to be favored now against BYU. We are the better team overall than them. Could we start this season three and one? Oh my goodness. Our top 25 polls shows uh, in the top 25, we see Texas dropping how far? All the way down to 14 as they're now one and one. And we jump up all the way to 18. That is so fantastic. Uh, Ole Miss with their loss. Be close to jumping them. Oh my gosh. Any other teams? Stanford lost to Arizona State. The rest of the top 10 did pretty solid. I know we had a player of the week. It's Mason Shelton, believe it or not. It was a defensive player of the week. That forced fumble in the game winning, I would say, interception. I got to imagine in the ACC, no, didn't get it on offense. Instead, it's uh, Zonovan Knight, that ridiculous running back from uh, NC State. And man, we'll take out a look at the Heisman. But how about the turnaround for this team? Nothing for us. I don't know if I can be too happy. Spencer Sanders, JT Daniels, EJ Smith, Zach Charbonnet all up there in the Heisman watch. But yeah, again, how about the uh, the turnaround from this team? Week one, we get obliterated by NC State. Week two, it's uh, a ridiculously close game against Pitt. And then week three, we go in and win another close one, but against a ridiculously good Texas team. I hope that that means that we have an easy time against uh, BYU in the next episode, but that's going to have to wait. If you've made it this far, which I hope you have because this was a great episode, uh, please feel free to subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Again, about like 85% of the people that will end up watching this video won't be subscribed. So if you were one of that 85%, please feel free to go ahead and turn the, the red subscribe button gray. And while you guys are down there, maybe head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. We play a bunch of other non-NCA related content. 
You can also find links to my Twitter and our community Discord, as well as a link to the College Football Revamped mod itself if you were trying to get it for yourself. Oh, what a game. Hopefully we don't uh, have let let down and go back to 500 next week. Hopefully we just continue to win and prove that we do belong in the ACC. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys, wherever you are. Have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.